Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this practice tutorial, we are going to try to model this shape you see over here. First off, let me switch to the model layout, which will give us more space. Then I will add in a cylinder. Let me hit N and B to see the wireframes. Uh, let's click on object and change the orientation to Z. Then I will remove height segments. Then I will adjust the height. Let's be exact and set this to 25. Next up, I will head over here and turn off caps. Now let's go back to the object and increase up the segments to 32. The reason is it is not going to be possible to add in lots of details to an object that has low resolution. So I will set this to 32. Let me hold on Alt and select this thicken object or generator. The reason is, I want to keep this object as non-destructive as possible so that I can play around with the rotation segments, height segments, etc. So this ticken object will help us a lot. The next thing I want to work on is this detail at the top. As you can guess, is another cylinder. So let's go to the proper view. In this case, it is the right view and I will add in another cylinder. Then I will adjust the orientation to X, move it up, scale it down. Then I will remove the high segments, then adjust the rotation segments. I will just set this to 8 straight up. The reason is it is not too low, it is not that high, so it is just perfect for us. Let me adjust the height to something like that. I want these caps to be aligned uh, with that H and with that H. So this one is looking nice. It doesn't have to be perfect though. So this is looking pretty good. I just need to rotate this cylinder around just a bit. So I will come over here and set this to 22.5 degrees. By doing so, I will have these, you know, vertical edges aligned with the world, which will make this shape, this semicircular shape, quite precise. Now I will tap V. The reason is, as you can see, my origin is off. To align it with the world, I will tap V. Move it up. I want to align on these points with the cylinder, the original cylinder. So I will move this up slightly. Now again, this process doesn't have to be uh, exact or precise, this cylinder is just uh, a reference. Let me change the radius a bit. Tap E, move tool, move it up slightly and this is going to be it. Next up, let's go back to the original cylinder. I don't think we need to make any further adjustments. 32 is going to be perfect, I believe. So which means that I can tap C on the keyboard to make this Ticken object or generator editable. I made the Ticken object editable, so the name changed to Ticken. Let me rename that to, I don't know, ring. Then I will go into polygon mode. By the way, I have some shortcuts for component selections. So if I hit one, I will be in points mode. If I hit two, I will be in edges. If I hit three, I will be in polygons. And finally, if I hit four, I will be in model component mode. Anyways, let me hold down right mouse and select polygons, then hold down control and move this up. Then I will tap T, scale this on the Y by holding shift. Then I will go to the, say, front view, because we need to align these edges. To align these polygons with that edge of the cylinder or the reference cylinder, I need to enable snap. I need to also enable edge mode. Then I will move this up. It is going to be that easy. Next up, we need to do this one more time. Hold on control and move this up. Now I need to scale these polygons along the Z. Scale them. Unfortunately, as you can see, scale tool is not able to snap any components. So I need to do it separately. I will simply go into points mode, select these points. Let's grab rectangle selection tool and snap these points to the points 
of the cylinder. That's it. We can delete or hide the cylinder. I think we should hide it. The reason is I could use the cylinder to, to open up that hole in the middle. So let's go back to the ring. In fact, let me enable this again because we will need to add in that edge in the middle. So I will right click, grab look at tool and add in right around here. I will double click on that edge loop. Let's turn off snap. T scale is on the Y, then hold on shift and stop at 0%. This is going to make this edges perfectly straight. I don't want these points to be that close, so I will go to the front view, tap 0 on the keyboard to grab rectangle selection tool. I will hold on shift and select these points. Then T, scale them on the Y, hold on shift, stop at 0 and move this down. Okay, we can now disable this cylinder. Now let's work on the back. It's quite hard to tell with this image, but I basically flatten out that part completely, these polygons. So let me go to the front view. And basically, move these points along the X. Then I will right click, grab line cut tool. I will turn off visible only so that I could cut through the mesh. I am going to click on that point and finish it off. Then I will tap spacebar, which will give me back the rectangle selection tool. I will select all these points and delete them. Next up, I want to uh, work on that angle. So let me grab polygon pen tool and connect that point to that one, which will transform that angle into a quad. Same here. Nice. To close that hole, I'm going to use close polygon hole tool. Close the hole, then enable grid option, which is going to work great. As long as we have exact amount of edges on each side, close polygon hole tool with the grid option works just great. Now let me select these edges and apply the equal spacing tool. I'm going to do the same thing with these edges. Just hold on shift and select these ones. By the way, this is not strictly necessary, but I just like to keep it as even as possible. So let's use the same tool and here we go. Next up, let me hold on alt and put this object under the side of the green surface. As you can see, we need to sharpen up these edges to do that real quick. I will use Funk Break Selection Tool. So first, let's click off, then tap V, go to Select and grab Funk Break Selection Tool. This tool basically selects the edges based on the Funk Angle. So we need to increase that up. Let's try 40. It is still not enough. I mean, I don't want to select these edges. So let me try 50. Yes, this one is the perfect one. We have that sharp edge, but it is quite easy to deselect. Now I will click on select all, tap E, move tool, hold on control and deselect this because I want that part, as you can see, as smooth as possible. So I'm going to deselect it. I will orbit around the mesh just to make sure. Then I will hit Q, right click and grab bevel tool. I will set this to solid Then bevel these out. Let me turn this off because we have a problem around that pole. As you can see, bevel tool is creating a bunch of triangles around that pole. To fix that problem, I will just set this to uniform. It is going to be that easy. Let's hit Q. I'm going to hit NNA, click off. If you find it too sharp, you can always hit Ctrl Z and do it one more time. You can adjust this to your liking. Okay. This one is looking just perfect. I think it is time to open up that hole in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to use that old friend. I will just adjust the size of it. I will go into model mode. Adjust the height and scale. Let's turn off subdivision surface and hit N and B. Okay, this one is looking fine. Now we need to mesh the segments 
around the circle or the hole. Let me see. Here it says we have eight edges, which is perfect because this cylinder has eight segments. It is the same here. Okay. Now this time I will be using a bull. Hold down alt, a bull. Then drop this one under the ring. Before applying this bull, the former or object, I will select the ring. Go into polygon mode and select these polygons. Because these edges in the middle get in the way, which will make the process, cleaning up process, a bit longer. So let me apply the math tool, this one over here. Now I will select the bool, enable create single object and tap C to make it editable. Now I will tap 1 to go into points mode. We need to clean up these points, but I know a perfect way to clean up this real quick. I will come over here, open up the options. Head over here, mesh checking, enable it. Turn off all of these options except for the edge points. This is, this is going to highlight these empty points. Then just click on this icon. It's going to select these points. Then I will just delete them. Next up, I will select the N-Gun. Right click, come over here to the N-Guns tools and click on remove N-Guns. There we go. So as long as we have matching edges, just like the closed polygon hole tool, uh, this tool works just great. Same here, select the N-Gun, right click and click on remove N-Guns. Hit Q, obviously these edges needs to be adjusted. Right click, bevel, solid mode, add these sporting edges. There we go, looks perfect. By the way, let me turn off this word plane. I always forget to turn this off. I'm sorry. Anyways, now the next thing, obviously, we need to split this into two different objects. To do that, I will first select these edges as borders. But we have a problem that edge loop is not straight. To straighten that up, I will tap T. Scale is on the X, Alt and Shift, and stop at zero. But this is going to create a problem. You see that point, it is part of that cylinder. So no matter what, we should not move that point or these edges. So to secure the position of that point or these edges, I'm going to first enable X mode and click on that point. Then I will tap T, start to scale on the X, then hold on shift. It is not going to work because we need to turn off the axis mode. Start to scale, hold down shift and stop at zero. Perfect. Now I can select these polygons. Then right click and split. Let me hide this one just to make sure that everything is perfect. Well, everything is not perfect. We forgot to add in a loop right in the middle. So I'm going to right click, grab loop capsule, hold down shift, which is going to add that loop right in the middle of the mesh. But still, it may not be perfectly straight. So I will go to the front view. Yeah, as you can see, the reason is probably the other side because it is angled. So it is trying to average out the shape. So let me hit T. You know what? We can use that menu. I'm going to zero out X position and X size. Okay, now we are ready to go. I will tap zero on the keyboard to grab rectangle selection tool. Select all these polygons. Make sure that you got the right polygons. Then right click and split. Hit Q. Subdivision surface is only going to affect the first object below. So we need to group them. Alt and G. Nice. Next thing we need to do is. We need to extrude these edges in. Just double click. It is a perfect loop. It's going to select it. Then tap T. Scale this by holding Control. Then a loop cut right around here. I will do the same thing here. T. Hold on Control. Then a loop cut. Now we need to apply the same techniques to these edges on the other side. Double click, scale this in by holding control, then a look at. Now let's unhide. 
let me check the wireframes. Perfect. I believe we could end up the tutorial. I hope I was able to give you some useful tips. I hope you did learn something new and enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime. Also, I would really appreciate if you like the tutorial and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And hopefully, I will see you in the next ones. Bye.